Okay. But the point I'm making is... Gemma's very upset with Liz Truss because she's been hammered on her... Don't be upset, Gemma! Gemma, I'm going to have my game! I'm just going to warn you, Alex. If you mention Liz Truss, Gemma's going to flare up. I'm actually Boris Johnson as well. Just a man who will lie about anything to get further his own personal ambition. And he was defenestrated because of the Owen Patterson issue and also because he's been found to have lied throughout party gate. I mean, there were some pretty big misdemeanors. She's like an old rotten no, 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 that's my, that's a, my point would be this, the, the following, and we can debate it, whether it's true or not, but whether you yeah. accept this. If you defenestrate elected people uh, thoroughly in their premiership, what you're, what you're in effect doing is you're taking the vote away from everyone, including those people who dislike the leader. Because what it means is that if you see it from the point of view of the bureaucracy, which is, as we've seen, mm. is heartless mm. and quite powerful. But you like, but this is not about that. This it is, is about, about the fact that you like Boris and you didn't want to see him go. No, no, no. no. Having to do with his his better popularity no, levels no, were minus I I, no, no, there, Now, is Boris on his knees then? Uh, or are you actually just very, very tall? I, I was very tall. So his, You're minders, six foot eight. his minders actually ran off and they thought that, that he was being... That he was You're on the left, right? Uh, I'm on the, that's my brother. But uh, his oh. minders left and ran away because they were scared. What a tall family. But no, I should say as well, I don't mean to move us on quickly, but we, we've sort of done a lot of Boris over, over oh, the years. Yeah, so and a lot of viewers will agree with you, by the way. Um, but you, Alex, I should say, holds the record with the Cambridge crew for the Oxford-Cambridge boat race. 16 minutes, 19 seconds in 1998. It's coming up soon. Is it in a week or two? Next week. Yeah. Next week, yeah. So do we have any pictures of you in the boat, I wonder? Or I think we've got an Olympic picture of you, you're Olympian as well. Yes. So you, I could always spot an Olympian because they're six foot eight. So and I'm, you, the, I'm the, the guy who can see on the picture, the third from the back. Well, um, how did you do in those Olympics? Not as well as we wanted. There are lots of good stories to tell. Actually, losing brings more good stories than winning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because mm -hmm. winning is preordained. Mm. But when you lose, mm -hmm. you have all sorts of reasons why you lost, and everything becomes much more manifest afterwards. And which Olympics was that? 96. 96. In Atlanta? Yeah. Which wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It was uh, a massive very... mess up on the administration. But we also had uh, we also had a terrorist attack, and there was a yeah. great... Uh, Clint Eastwood film uh, on the topic, which was quite interesting, because one of my friends, Bobby Thatcher, uh, was wearing with James Cracknell in the double. Uh, James Cracknell got ill, so he really didn't have a, a race to go to. He went out partying, and he's the world's unluckiest man. And when we heard the explosion, we thought, that's it, Bobby's done. Mm -hmm. Luckily, he was drunk in a, in a ditch somewhere. Okay, right. right. Well, I'm it wasn't the bomb that killed him. So, so Olympic rowing and Boris Johnson, three, three interests. No, I actually stood for Parliament a few times, and I won the seat of Yorkshire and the Humber, uh, but the Tory party gave my seat to somebody else. What? Which led me to take them to court, and then I realised I was uh, taking the government to court, uh, and uh, that's why my interest in politics has been drained out of me. They're now an unscrupulous bunch, those Tories, aren't they? No, those four parties don't, yeah, don't okay. think, do not think that it's just the Conservative <laughs> Party. Boris Johnson came up on our show yesterday with, with Keir Starmer, because Jackie from Cheshire said there's no way Keir would be the next Prime Minister. Have a listen. Good day, Mr. Bring back Boris. Oh. Boris is the best. I, I have to say that Boris brought us through Brexit, whether we liked it or not. He did an amazing, perfect person job, and he also got us through COVID, and he's an amazing person. <laughs> well, there we are. Can I just say about the, the amazing person? I, you probably would prefer to have him at your dinner party than no, Theresa May. No, I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't? No, I 100% no, no, would no, not. Okay. He put Rich, the, the, the Baron of Siberia into the House of Lords. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think <laughs> <I don't, I laughs> <I don't>, <laughs> quite a profound dislike among what? people who are on Gemma's bit of the spectrum. Like a personal dislike. You wouldn't be enjoy sitting next to him at a dinner party, even if he was funny. Am I right? No, I I've never found laugh. him funny. No, no, I don't. I even really, when he did I a really campaign believe. against shopping trolleys being ditched in rivers and he managed to fall into a river, you didn't? I really believe that he is not my type of politician at yeah. all. Like when he was London Mayor, he appealed to like London people. He pretended to be a woolly liberal. Then when it suited him, he absolutely changed. We all know he didn't really, he wasn't a Brexiteer. He was a whatever. And he's a great kind of campaigner. He captures people's imagination, but he has no integrity. He was a great campaigner. Because he is a great he campaigner. He's undeniable. He he's won a massive election. You said nice about him, but you just said he was a great campaigner. That's something. Um, <laughs> that's 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 okay, all right, all right. Um, we, we, as I say, we have talked about Mr. Johnson. But I want to move on from, from Boris Johnson to a pig. This is an incredible story. And I heard him on the news saying this is a small step towards. No, no, this is much bigger than that. This is a man called. Uh, hey, Mom, Mr. Byer. Who needed a kidney transplant, and if you're living with kidney disease and you have to have dialysis, it takes over your whole life. And I know I've needed to see today, 
human body think it's a human kidney. And that's how crazy this is. He had four hours of surgery at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. He's now recovering well. He's going to be discharged soon. It's only the third time non-human tissue has been used in a transplant. The first two were pig's heart, and the patients both died. So this guy had kidney disease. He's now going to be walking around with a pig's kidney. What do you think? That's insane. But uh, didn't um, Arnold Schwarzenegger get the uh, heart transplant from a pig? Bowels. He had those bowels. Bowels, bowels, yeah. Different, yeah. They're oh. not the whole heart. But and as I say, the heart is, it, the, for whatever reason, the heart doesn't, hasn't yeah. gone well so far. Yeah. I really hope, honestly, this is so exciting. Mm. Because people waiting for kidney transplants are classically waiting for, for young people to die in road accidents. It's so and it's, sad, it's yeah. the whole story can often be so sad. So I really hope that comes good. And we thought we should tell you about it. After the break, I think we'll probably not talk about Boris Johnson for a little few minutes. We'll ask, is it wrong to change the flag on the England kit? Give us a call with your thoughts, 0207 822 and we'll see you in a moment. Okay, this is fine. Two brothers in India have been fined for doing what with their car? Did they turn it into a helicopter, use it to kidnap animals, or well, I hope not, or drag racing? Find out which after this short break. Okay. <laughs> 